In this video, we're continuing on with our percent problems worksheet on the CUDA software website, and I'll leave a link in the description below. In the last video, we started solving using proportions. Let's go over that. 4% of 73 is what? So we're looking at 4 out of 100, because that's the percent. 4 out of 100 is equivalent to what of 73? So that's going to be x over 73. We're going to multiply both sides by 73. 4 divided by 100, which we know is 4 hundredths. And when we multiply that by 73, we get 2.92. And we're rounding to the nearest tenth, so we're getting 2.9 for x. So 2.9 is 4% of 73. As we got familiar using proportions, in the last video I showed you a quick tip for percent problems. 4 out of 100 is that 4 hundredths, which is what 4% is in decimal form. So that's 0 0.04. So when you ask for a percentage of some number is equal to what, you're taking your percent, you're multiplying it by the number that you're looking at the percentage of, and that's going to equal some number that is out of the number we multiplied the percentage by. So if it asks you for 4% of 73, we're taking the percentage, multiplying it by the number that the percentage is of, and then we're solving for what that's equivalent to. So think percent of, and then the number that's the percentage of. So let's move on to number 10, knowing that trick. So it asks us, what is 12% of 17.5? So we're turning this into a decimal by dividing by 100. So that's going to be 0.12. So there's our percentage in decimal form. And we're going to multiply it by the number that the percentage is of. So that's going to be 17.5. And that's going to equal some number x. So we're going to do 0.12 times 17.5, and that's going to give us 2.1 for number 10. 2.1 is 12% of 17.5. Using that same method, we're looking at 79% of 67 miles is what? So converting that percent to start, 79 over 100 is 0 0.79. We're multiplying that by 67 and that's equal to x. So 0.79 times 67 equals 52.93, which in number 12, we're asked, what is 59% of 14 meters? So again, converting this, 59 over 100 is equal to 0 0.59, and we're multiplying that by 14 meters, and that's going to be equal to what? So 59% of 14.59 times 14 is equal to 8.26, which rounds to 8.3. So that's going to be 8.3 meters. Number 13, 112 minutes is 76% of some number. So converting to a decimal, 76 over 100 is 0 0.76, and we're asking 76% of some number, so let's call that number x, is 112 minutes. So you see now the variable is multiplied to the percentage, because remember, that's our of. So of some number, so 76% of some number is 112 minutes. The way we solve this, we're just going to divide by 0.76. So 112 divided by 76 hundredths is going to be 147.36, which rounds to 147.4. And we're looking at minutes. So 147.4 minutes. 112 is 76% of 147.4 minutes. 
You can double check by taking 112, dividing it by 147.4, and seeing if that rounds to 76%, and indeed the decimal is 76 hundredths, and when multiplied by 100, that is 76%. Number 14 asks, what is 16% of 43 minutes? Converting to a decimal, we're looking at 16% of 43 minutes is some number x. So the number we're solving for. We're going to take 0.16, multiply that by 43 to get 6.88. 6.88 rounds to 6.9. So 6.9 minutes is 16% of 43 minutes. And number 15, it says $73 is what percent of $125? So our percentage is now the unknown. So the decimal for that percent is going to be X. So X times $125 dollars because it's asking what percent of that $125 is equal to $73. Then we're just going to divide by 125 once we have the formula set up. So 73 divided by 125 will give us 0 0.584, but we have to convert to a percent, so we're going to multiply that by 100 to get 58 0.4%. So $73 is 58.4% of 125. And lastly, we'll finish up with number 16, and in the next video, we'll finish out this worksheet. Before we go into that though, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In number 16, we're asked, what is 90% of 130 inches? So converting 90 to a decimal, 90% is 0 0.90, and we're multiplying that by 130 inches, and that's going to be equal to some number of inches, which is what we're solving for. So 0 0.90 times 130 is 117. So x is equal to 117 inches. So in words, 117 inches is 90% of 130. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below.